We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 7, using SmartArt. So this is a five-step activity, um, but it doesn't take too long. However, you want to make sure you're paying very close attention to the instructions because it will mark you incorrect if you're not doing the appropriate clicks and or uh, arrow keys. So the first thing we want to do is create a new blank document. I'm going to click right into Word, press and hold Control, and tap the N key. This will give me a new blank document. I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, and in the Illustrations group, I'm going to click on the Smart Art Graphic icon. And this is going to give me a dialog box with a bunch of different options. So it defaults to All, and it will show you every single type of smart art there is. We want to narrow it down by first clicking on the hierarchy and this is going to show you any hierarchy categorized smart art. And then we're going to click on the hierarchy option. So it's on the second row, it's the second one over. You can hover over it, it will tell you. I'm going to click on that and click OK. So for this activity we're going to create a smart art graphic, so it's a visual representation of um, an employee, where employees are, what offices they work for. When the smart art inserts, if it does not automatically open up a text pane over here on the left, you can do one of two things. You can either click on this arrow right here, or it should bring you to the smart art tools design tab. In the Create Graphic group, you can also click Text Pane there, and it's going to open up a text pane for you. So there's a couple of ways you can insert text into a smart art. You can either click in into, if your text pane isn't open, you can click into each of the boxes and type. But this text pane helps to um, identify all of the different levels, and we want to make sure we have this open for this activity. So be sure to have that text pane showing. We're going to mark as the answer to go to step two. So in the text pane, in this first bullet point, we're going to type in Nick Clausen. And you're going to see it's going to automatically update whatever I've typed here into the uh, corresponding smart art graphic. And you're going to notice too that where these bullet points are, where the indent is, that's going to be a new level. Right, so it helps us divide up the information that we're seeing. Okay, now this is where things get very, very uh, picky. In your instruction panel, make sure you're paying attention to whether it says to press the down key or to click in the next line. So for this first one, we want to press the down arrow key. By doing that, it's going to move me into the next bullet point. I'm going to type in Cape Town and then on the instructions, it says to click into the next line to type Jamie Gibson. So on my text pane, I want to make sure I'm using the mouse to click into the next line and type Jamie Gibson. Now for the rest of them, we're just going to do, use the down arrow key. So I'm going to press down. I'm going to type Robin Black. I'm going to press down. I'm going to type London. And what you're going to notice here, it doesn't change where my indentation is. So I have Nick Clausen, he's overseeing the whole, all of the offices. I have an office in Cape Town, and then the employees there are Jamie Gibson and Robin Black. I have an office in London. I'm gonna press the down key. I'm gonna type in Catherine Wilkins. So she's the one employee there right now. But we have another employee in this office. So, to add an additional line, I'm at, when I'm at the end of Catherine Wilkins, I'm going to hit the Enter key. And what you'll see that adds a new SmartArt box for me, or a new text box in my SmartArt graphic, right on the same indentation that I have um, whatever the previous one was. So I'm going to type Tyler McGill. All right, so now I have my entire SmartArt graphic filled. I'm going to click on the X to close out my text pane. I'm going to mark step two as answered. For step three, I want to be able to stretch this um, 
to fill my page. So I'm going to do a, a couple of things to my page layout. So I'm going to go up to my layout tab and in the page setup group, first I want to change my margins to narrow. So I'm going to click that drop down. I'm going to find the narrow option and click on it. Next, because my smart art graphic is wider than it is tall, I'm going to change my page orientation. So I'm going to change it from portrait to landscape. It's going to fill this up much better. And now I'm going to click the bottom right corner of the diagram. So you're going to see because I have Kayla McGill, that for some reason that um, text box is selected. It's showing me handles here. I just want to be sure I don't accidentally grab that one. I want to grab the one for the corner of the entire smart art and stretch it out to fill the page. There's no uh, precise measurements here. Just make sure you're filling up the page as much as it will go using that corner handle. I'm going to mark that as answered and go to step four. Now under my smart art tools, uh, I'm going to click on the design tab. So first make sure that your smart art graphic is still selected. You're going up to the hidden tab over here for design. And we're going to look at some different layouts. So here in the layouts group, if I hover over the other options that are shown, or if I open up my, uh, my full gallery, I can hover over some of these different options and it will show me what they're, what they're like. I want to click on the organization chart option. So for me, it's in the upper right. Yours might be in a different spot. But when you find it, go ahead and click on it. And it's going to change our layout a little bit. Now, maybe I want to change the colors on this. So in the design tab, I'm going to go to Smart Art Styles. And then I'm going to use the, co the Change Colors function. And when I open that up, you're going to see I have some categories here with a bunch of different colors. So I want to find the colorful range, accent colors four to five. So first of all, colorful range, that's one of my categories. And if I hover over them, it's going to show me what the titles are. So I'm looking for colorful range, accent colors four to five. That's the one right there. I'm going to click on it and apply it. In my Smart Art Styles section, there's also some options for different uh, effects you can add. So I'm going to hover over some of these. I'm actually going to go into, I'm looking for the polished option. And that's underneath the 3D category. So when I find it, I'm going to click on it. It's going to apply that to my entire Smart Art graphic. Now with Smart Art graphics, um, if you select just one of these options, you can also change just that one. Uh, but so be careful that you don't accidentally have just one of these selected. Make sure you're, uh, you have the entire smart art graphic selected and you're changing it all. Mark that as answered. Let's go to step five. Now, we're going to imagine that there's going to be an additional office being added. So we need to add that to our smart art graphic. So I'm going to click the Nick Klassen box in the diagram. And then on my design tab in the create graphic group, I'm going to use the add shape function. So when you're adding shapes, there's a couple of ways you could do it. You could open your text pane and then add a shape this way, but we don't want to do it that way. We want to make sure we're following what Jasper Active is asking us to do. So up here in add shape, I can just click on add shape and it's actually going to add it one level below, which is where we want it to be. We're going to type Toronto. You don't have to click onto it or anything as long as it's selected. We can just type. And then I'm going to go back up to where it says add shape. I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to go add shape below. This is going to give me a shape on the next level. And in here, I'm going to type Toby Belanger. There we go. And then I'm going to close this document without saving. Mark is answered and submit. 